two NBA player props here on Price Picks for Wednesday, January 31st. The end of the month here, um, again, like I've talked about in the previous video, NFL is coming to a close. Going to be continuing with these daily NBA videos, two NBA player props per day with these videos. So, again, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, drop a like on this video, daily content like this coming every single day. Also want to mention, check out link in the description below and hop into our premium Discord, $9.30 per month, $0.31 cents per day, you guys. Uh, that's where I post all the plays I'm making on price picks. We also have other premium cappers in there as well. They post all their plays, research, and analysis. Overall, in their super positive community, uh, everyone is trying to help each other cash. I also want to mention I'm not a gambling expert, and this is not financial advice. These are simply just the plays I'm personally looking at making. Hopefully, give you guys some insight and analysis to make your own player prop decisions here. But yeah, let's get into it, you guys. We have a nice, I think this is a 10-game slate here, NBA. Um, smaller slate yesterday, but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 games here. Wednesdays overall have been pretty good. Wednesdays and Fridays, I would say, uh, as far as just the, um, obviously the size of the slate, but also just um, the value on the boards at certain times of the day. But let's get into it. Um, two player props. Let's not waste any time. Let's get after it. So the first play that I'm looking at here is a points plus rebounds prop. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be Zion, uh, Zion twenty seven and a half PR. I think this line is a little bit too low for Zion, like twenty seven and a half PR for him. I mean, if you think about it, even just going back to like last season or in his career, it's like insane that this line is too low. Um, but taking a look at this matchup, this is one of the closer matchups um, on the slate. I think, in my opinion, two point spread, two thirty one and a half over under. I think both these teams match up pretty well. Uh, they've actually faced each other twice this season, and both the games have been pretty competitive. Um, but for Zion here, like I talked about. Uh, Herb Jones is currently questionable. Don't think that'll affect him too much. Um, I think it really just comes down to volume and minutes for Zion Williamson. But we take a look at Zion, right? And we take a look at how he's kind of fared this season on the road. He averages a little bit more points, a little bit more rebounds on the road. He's literally averaging um, over 20. So he averages about, what, 28, 28 point, what, what is that? 28.5 PR on the road this season. So we're literally asking him to just go over or hit what his season average is on the season as far as points plus rebounds go. Um, we look at Zion this season on on Outlier. Again, there's a link in the description. You get a seven-day free trial with Outlier. This is a research betting tool, you guys, that I do use every single day. If you In the link in the description, you get a seven-day free trial. Try it out. See what you think. Um, but I highly, highly recommend. But we look at Zion this season when he plays 28-plus minutes, right? 28-plus minutes this season. He's over this line in 23 of 27 games. When he plays 28 plus minutes which again if you think about that hit rate it's actually pretty crazy we look at away games as well right over in 12 of 14 games when he plays 28 plus minutes this season so like i talked about it just comes down to volume for zion williamson also this season in two games this season alone versus houston he's had 32 pr and 36 pr so he's played extremely well this season versus houston 28 and 8 and 24 and 8 right we need just 28 pr tonight um, in this close matchup, we look at Houston, um, essentially versus the power forward position. They allow the th seventh most points and the fourth most rebounds to the power forward position. Now, like I talked about, we look at Zion, like I said, in two games this season, he's played extremely well, played 34 minutes in both games, which were close. 36 PR, 28, 8, 11 for 16 from the field, and then also had 24 and 8. Uh, eight for 16 from the field. So has seen 15 plus shot, 15 plus field goal attempts. So the decent shot volume there. And like I talked about, it is a strong matchup. Um, we look at other forwards kind of game log this season versus the Rockets logging 30 plus minutes. And obviously this is just since like about a month ago. Um, we've seen Miles Bridges 28, LeBron 29, Laurie Markin in 31, Zion 36, um, Durant, Porzingis 37 and 38. And then similarly built players or just players that score predominantly most of their points in the paint. Julius, very similar player to Zion. I think just with the eye test, 39 PR against the Houston Rockets, um, about 15 days or so ago and then Giannis 65 PR um, against Houston back in the beginning of the month so I think as far as just matchups go Zion just has the best matchup on the floor for this team um, like Sangoon is going to be on Valanchunas as long as Valanchunas is in the game Dylan Brooks is probably going to be guarding Brandon Ingram or CJ McCollum and there's just no way Jabari Smith, Jalen Green, or Fred Van Fleet are going to be able to switch on Zion or guard him whatsoever. Also, Tari Eason being out, I think, helps this play as well. Um, he's just really that guy off the bench that's going to be able to guard Zion. Like, just look at Cam Whitmore is too small, Deshaun Tate's too small, Emma Thompson's too small, Jeff Green's too slow, and Aaron Holiday is not guarding Zion either. So it just presents the best matchup, in my opinion, for anyone on this Pelicans team. Um, and Zion, like I talked about, um, this season, through those two games versus the... Um, Houston Rockets, he's averaged 13 
rebounding chances per game um, for eight total rebounds. So again, decent rebounding chances here. That's why I'm going with PR. He obviously has the potential to score 30 points. Um, he hasn't scored 30 points too many times this season, but I mean, the hit rate is just strong, right? Obviously two and two, two of two this season I had 30 PR last season. So over technically in three straight, like I talked about the matchup, um, or elite matchup as you can see here on the right-hand side over on outlier. And then like I talked about, um, like over his last 20 games, guys, 17 of 20 when he plays 28 plus minutes, right? So we just need a close, close game here for Zion. Um, and I think this should be a little bit, I think this is an easy over in my opinion. If he does get 30 plus minutes, like let's just move this um, to 30, right? Over 19 of 20 games this season, guys, when he plays 30 plus minutes. So don't really understand the line. I like Zion over 27 and a half PR is the first play. The second play that I'm looking at is an assist prop here, and it's going to be Terry Rozier over four and a half. I think this is a little bit too low um, for Scary Terry. Now, obviously, he's on Miami now, and obviously, uh, you know, his usage and things like that is not similar to what it was necessarily in Charlotte. But taking a quick look at this matchup, this is a great game and spread as well, right? We're looking at 231 and a half over under, which is pretty high for a Miami game um, with a one and a half point spread. So look at both of these games, two and one and a half are the spreads. So again, if we're going off the books here, um, expecting some close games, which is really what we want for these player props. Um, but Terry Rozier, right? Terry Rozier here this season. This is since joining Miami. So he joined Miami here. I think this Memphis was his first game. He's over in two um of four games since joining miami which again we're not taking too much into account here obviously miami's moving things around trying to figure out their offense they're on a crazy losing streak here but over in two of four games had five three seven and three so he's had at least three assists in every game which again it's not a crazy great floor but we look at odds here minus 120 on underdog minus 119 on price picks i mean pretty even odds here i'd say over four and a half assists but um if this doesn't move to five, I really, really like it at four and a half. I think this extreme value here. We look at Terry Rozier. Sorry, we look at the sack. Uh, we look at, hold on, my stuff's all out of whack. We look at Terry Rozier, sorry. Um, since joining Miami, over the last three games, 45 passes made. He's averaging 8.7 potential assists. All right, and I definitely think, given some tough matchups here and things like that, he did have seven assists versus the Knicks, so we know he can easily go over this line. Um, but it's just a great matchup versus the Sacramento Kings, right? The Sacramento Kings on the season giving up the fourth most assists to the point guard position, and that's the point guard position, right? So, I mean, Terry Rozier kind of plays combo with Tyler Hero, ball handling duties, even with Bam um, and Jimmy Butler. But, again, two point guards, which Terry Rozier is in this offense now. Tyler Hero is a shooting guard the fourth most assist to the position, all right? Now, we look at just guards game log this season. This is why I don't think, this is honestly why I think this line's a little bit too low, okay? This is just in the month of January, all right? We're in January 31st. This is just in the month of January. Look at, just look at the dates real quick so you guys can see the dates for these games. Just in the month of January, let's look at how many guards have hit the over on this line versus the Kings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 different guards, you guys, have had at least five assists versus the Kings. 17. Like I talked about, it's a great matchup. Twenty, The fifth most here on Outlier, um, the fourth most over on uh, Rotowire as far as uh, assists to opponents. But look at the amount of guards that have cleared this line versus the Kings. Like Jacob Gilliard had five assists in 16 minutes versus the Kings. Right? Like just breaking it down, kind of, you know, Killian Hayes, seven assists. Patrick Beverly, seven assists in 27 minutes. Jaden Hardy, seven assists in 19 minutes. Um, Buddy Heald, eight assists in 36 minutes. TJ McConnell, 10 assists in 33. And then obviously Luca and Devin Booker both had 11 and 17 assists versus the Kings. Like the Kings have been a wagon for assists to guards all season long. They do play at an extremely fast pace. Um, and the Kings defense on the road hasn't, well, their defense hasn't been great all season, but their defense on the road specifically um, has been even worse. Like, um, let's just do team defense i think if we can do this uh team traditional or team defense sorry again you got to do a lot of things here defensive rating right the kings defensive rating let's do it on the road let's just see what their defense again i don't know what their defensive rating is on the road specifically but i know it's 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 not great like just telling you right now location road um defensive rating on the road this season, right? The Kings, where are they at? Oh, it's actually not bad. 113.8, but again, not really scaring me too much. Let me actually filter this to uh, like the last 
10 games just to see if it's changed even more actually they have a pretty decent defense on the road but nonetheless not phasing me at all i think i mean the king's an elite matchup pace up matchup for for miami and uh yeah i think the person is a great spot four and a half just too low like five assists for terry Rozier. um that's less than three and a half um in a matchup where you can see the hit rate to opposing guards so again two plays for this youtube video zion over 27 and a half pr terry Rozier over four and a half assists let me know in the comments below how you feel about these two plays take out all check out a look at all the links in the description below hit that subscribe button and as always let's cash